So that was ABRSM's C1 piece called Happy Day, and that is in the Grade 1 book 2019-20. to Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about swing, because actually a lot of the pieces in the C list for the sort of initial grades at the piano are swing tunes. So swing takes on actually quite a few forms. It doesn't necessarily just mean two quavers is equal to a crotchet and a quaver with a triplet over. It's actually, it's a bit more subtle. Um, and it depends on the speed of the, the swing and indeed the sort of era. There's lots of things going on there. Now, when I played that top line, There was some leaning on some of the notes and backing off on some of the others so that you can get that <clears throat> that real drivey sort of sound. 120 is quite fast actually. I've got my iPad here on GarageBand and I've actually got a drum rhythm that is playing a swing rhythm. And if I play that back, Now that, well it's actually, it's, it's a cross stick of a snare drum, it's not the full stick on the snare, but you've got the backbeat to think about. It's like when you watch the telly and there's one of your music program on and the audience are clapping on one and three and any musician is going, no, it's got to be two and four. So you've got to think a little bit more like that. So having that sort of backbeat, the beats two and four, is a, really underpins this, even when it's quiet. So from bar nine, where you really ramp the level back down. Just accenting slightly the note on the second beat just keeps it driving along instead of it sort of just dropping to nothing. The dynamic might be low, but the groove, that's the buzzword with this, the groove is still there. So, yeah. Sorry about some of the wrong notes there, but I kept going, and that's the other thing to do, is if it's a piece of swing music, the groove, dun, 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 if you imagine you're playing in a band with a drummer and a bass player, they're not going to wait for you if you make a mistake, so you're going to try and get out of it. But of course, you know, we're interested in getting all the notes that are here, all the notes have to be right in order to get the marks for those. But now we've got the sort of idea of this, Let's see what happens if we slow it down. Now, swing quavers do change subtly as you change tempo. If you were to play this at twice the speed, the quavers actually start to equalize. They're not sort of a crotchet and a quaver anymore. They start to get a bit closer together. But we're not interested in that for our purposes because we're not gonna play this at 240 beats per minute, but let's, ramp it down to 80. So this is for when you're practicing each line to still have those drums in place. So. So the chief thing is not to rush here. If anything, you should be slightly behind the drums. Keep up. So if he had got these drums at 80, Leave the second beat as late as you dare. One, two, one, two, three, four. I accidentally put a, a left hand on every beat there. That's probably because it's slowed down a bit and I'm trying to keep it going. So I'll do that once again for you.
course, it says slow down at the end. You can't shout at the iPad for it to slow down. But that's okay. You can practice the slow down individually you know, when you're on your own without the backing. So there, I try to keep behind on the beat. It's actually quite difficult to do this, to slow it down with a backing track because there's more space for things to sort of go a bit awry. But having those swing quavers, there's quite a large level difference between this and that. It's quite as again emphasizing anything on beats two and four to make it really drive. You can make crotchets drive even though there's no swing there, no swing component. You can make them sound like swing because you're digging in on two and four. quavers in there at all it was just beats so bear that in mind when you're playing this as well is that the beats two and four just emphasizing those ever so slightly will really carry this tune along so there we go there is a bit of an intro into into how to sort of interpret this swing rhythm